I'm just killing time waiting I'm just killing time This whole time Play this at my funeral Issues I'm swimming through, fishing around for the truth. This is living proof. Now I'll swim, but I what's going on, YouTube? You're back with the prez. We are in the home gym, but the workout is taking place at the gym today. Another full upper body calisthenic slash hybrid routine. You guys are gonna see, like I've spoken about many times in the past, how I've been managing overall intensity and volume with my weighted calisthenic training. And as you guys know, I always like to incorporate some type of hybrid training, or you could call that weight training, that's gonna complement my calisthenic skills and strength. So if you watched the previous video, we were doing heavy dips and light pulls. Remember, I used to do full body when I was training with my coach, full body every other day and every exercise. Pretty much we were always trying to push the limits and hit a PR, right? I used to do heavy weighted pulls, heavy weighted dips, heavy overhead pressing, and heavy squats all in one session. And I would typically need at least one to two days break in between each session. Not gonna lie, that did put a lot of muscle on my body. It got really strong. But that routine, like I said many times in the past, is mentally taxing. To be in the gym for two hours, taking long break periods, always trying to push the limits, gets very, very tough and it can lead to burnout and just boredom, right? So I wanted to switch up the routine a bit. I'm still working with my coach, but all I'm having him do now is just tell me the numbers to hit in my weighted pulls, my weighted dips, my overhead pressing, and my squats. The programming is on me. So like I've been showing you guys lately, typically I'll do a heavy weighted pull workout, and then the same day I'll do lighter chest work and lighter shoulders, or if I'm doing heavy chest work, it's gonna be lighter back, lighter shoulders, Etc. Etc. Right. So today's session is going to be a pull focused routine. My coach Matt Zlat, same guy I've been working with, actually told me let's drop the weight back down a little bit and let's start building up some volume. So today we dropped the load back down to 60 pounds and we did four sets of five repetitions. Remember, I was working at 98 pounds back in Florida for sets of two, but getting that volume in with the 60 pounds and then rebuilding stronger and stronger each session hopefully with less overall intensity to manage each session should have a good translation over to getting stronger in each exercise faster right i felt like having all the workouts in one session was dampening some of the routines right or some of the exercises for that matter like i would pee on a pull but then i'd be so tired when it came to the dips i could barely have any energy to push out max intensity right so that's why i like to split it up the way i've been doing so today's workout pull focus we're only working with 60 pounds today Overhead pressing, heavy weight again. So remember, if I'm doing heavy pulling, I typically won't do much heavy pushing for chest because I feel like too much strain on the elbow. But I can push it with shoulders. I've always talked about I love to train pull-ups and overhead pressing in the same workout because they're the same plat, same plane of motion, same pattern of movement, right? Pulling in the frontal plane, pressing in the frontal plane, right? Same body mechanics. So, heavy pulls, heavy overhead pressing. We're going for a PR today on overhead pressing. I've been really strict training this. The one movement that I haven't really fell off of at all. So, the goal today, 135 pounds, four sets of four. And back in September when I started, I was starting this movement back down to 95 pounds, chest to bar repetitions. So, the progress I've made on overhead press has been by far the best in my opinion, and I'm really happy with it. One of my favorite movements, as well as I always tell you, it has a great translation over to handstand push-up strength. Remember, calisthenics is skills, right? Balance aspect, handstands, levers, planches. They take skills, they take a lot of skill involved in it, but if you could strengthen the muscles that are required to do those skills, if you can strengthen them with external loads, with easier movements, those muscles are gonna get stronger, which is gonna make the movements for the calisthenic skill work easier, right? All right, so heavy pull, heavy overhead press today. That means for chest, it's very light. All we're gonna be doing is push-up work. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the gym. Let's get it. All right, guys. So like I said, this is a pull-focused routine today. We're starting out right away with the working sets here. 
60 pounds. So I dramatically dropped the load from what I was used to used to doing recently, where I was doing the 98 pound pulls. But again, now we're adding volume. The goal today was four sets of five with shorter break periods. So I took two to three minutes max break in between each set. Typically when I'm training for strength, I'm taking three to five minutes. So increasing the volume, lowering the intensity here, but again, decreasing the break periods to almost account for the lower intensity. So four sets, five reps at 60 pounds, and I'm still in a building up phase again, working with the coach. So hopefully each week we're making nice progress. And you can see my 60 pound pulls are looking pretty strong. I'm getting chin over the bar, easy clearing every rep. So start of the workout off today, four sets, five reps, and you can see they're moving strong and fast, these pulls here. Okay, next up we have the standing barbell military press, and this is the movement where I'm really pushing it. Here is where I'm trying to PR, and we're working at 135 pounds today. The goal was four sets of four reps. This exercise, I did not scale back. I did not drop the weight back and go back into a building phase. So this is the most intense exercise of the day. Four sets, four reps. And uh, like I said in the intro, guys, when I started this program back off in September, I was working at 95 pounds. I was used to doing 135 pound overhead pressing, but never for a full range of motion, never chest to bar. I used to only bring it to my chin, more bodybuilding style. Ever since I started increasing this range of motion in these overhead pressing, my handstand pushing strength has got way stronger. My upper chest development has grown a lot, and uh, I've just gotten a lot of progress in this movement, and it's become one of my favorite movements overall. So overhead press four by four, this is the PR today. This is the most intense exercise. Remember, managing volume and intensity. And what really murks my body is when I do high intensity, weighted pulls and weighted dips. That's when my elbow starts to feel it. And remember, the pulls weren't that high intensity today. It was only 60 pounds. So this is the highest intensity, this overhead pressing. Two main movements today, weighted pulls, overhead pressing. And the rest of the work that you're gonna see from here on out is gonna be all accessory movements. So stay tuned, last set of four reps here, and you're gonna see I grind out this last rep, and that's exactly how it should look. On your last set of your last rep, should be the hardest repetition, and that's the most, those are the most effective reps, right? That's where you're pushing through, that's where the nervous system's firing up, and that's what's gonna fatigue you. Now we gotta recover. Nice negative I did also here. Let's keep it going. And like I said, the next movements in the routine are gonna be all accessory work. So here we're going to a cable row. And again, guys, I've talked about this before. We're gonna directly target the lats here. So you, people might think I look weird doing this leaning forward. Most people would be leaning back or with an upright torso in that movement. That's gonna target more of the mid back. You wanna directly target the lats, lean forward. Watch the line of pull. As you lean forward, you can see how stretched out the lats themselves get. They're following the line of resistance, which is the cable. You keep a narrow grip and you pull your elbows back into the side, keeping them as close to the body. You guys are gonna feel a crazy lat pump here. So all I did is two sets of this, 10 reps set one with 121 pounds, and then we dropped it. Actually, then we increased it to 143 pounds and did eight reps. You guys are gonna see here with the tank on. Watch the lats. The lats stretch each rep with the line of pull, full stretch on the lats, and then pulling the elbows tight to the body, down and back, this weight's a little heavier, so I'm not controlling it as well. But uh, remember guys, this is all about feeling the muscle, mind-muscle connection here. Lean forward on your rows, get some more lat engagement. All right guys, now some skill work, some fun stuff. Again, remember, accessory work. I wanted to increase my handstand push-up strength, so obviously after the Military presses, if I would've went into these, I would've been a lot weaker. That's why I went into the rowing movement to give my shoulders a break. And now we're just doing two sets of three pause repetition handstand push-ups, just to test, to test on balance, strength. And again, we're mimicking the overhead press movement, getting that pause with our head to the bottom, which is mimicking that chest to the bar motion. And you can see those stomach to the wall repetitions have been really paying off in terms of handstand pushing strength.
All right, last exercise or routine of the day for that matter. Remember, it's a full upper body day. You didn't see any direct chest work yet. And just because we did heavy overhead pressing, very intense overhead press with the 135 and heavy weighted pulls, obviously I can't go heavy weighted dips today. So the chest work, the intensity has to be very low. So we're going for high volume push-ups. The goal is 100 reps. I wanted to hit, honestly, I wanted to hit it unbroken. The goal was to do 40, do a 40 second hold. 30, do a 30 second hold. 20, 10 for a total of 100 push-ups. I didn't know, in my head, I just thought I could do it. Never even attempted that before. But uh, you guys can see how it went. So that was the first clip of 40. Now I'm in my 40 second hold. Stay tuned for the rest of the set. 100 total reps of push-ups to end the workout. Rage on that beat, going crazy. Symphony, no sympathy. When I was on the bench, you wouldn't sit with me. Now I'm on the court and I'm balling. My time's coming.